Welcome back to our LOZO OT3HC. We are in prison. And just as simply as we got in here, we are going to escape. They seem to have a fatal uh, flaw in their security, if they can get out of here that easily. So here's what you're supposed to do. All throughout this temp uh, this hideout, you're supposed to shoot them. It doesn't knock them out permanently, but it does temporarily. And that is how you get around here. Otherwise, if they see you, like they could right now... Um, someone's going to come around the corner here, so... We need to be very stealthy. <laughs> Can't quite get over there. Okay, there we are. Yeah, if I get a point where I can line them both up, I could take them both out, one right after the other. Um, if we get caught again, it doesn't... Yeah, just like that. It doesn't take away any uh, health. They just throw us back in the prison, and that gets annoying after a while. But as I was saying, it seems as if they have a fatal flaw. If anybody who happens to have some sort of a hook shot or a way to latch on to a wooden slate, or slab rather, can escape from their prison, they need to, like, remove that. But right here we are back out where we were held. See right down there is where we were. And this box is a pointless 50 rupee piece. Which would be cool, again, if we needed rupees. Um, and I believe this treasure chest over there is the only way to, es to get over from this point. It either has a bunch of rupees or a heart piece, I think. Neither of which we need, so... It's a shame, really. Um, but anyway, each uh, part of this hideout along the side has a door that they all lead to different places. Our mission, if you remember from the last video, um, is to find all four carpenters that are being held hostages. They're all in certain parts. Uh, gotta be quick when you come in this door, because pretty much immediately when you enter, BAM! Yeah, the guard comes right around the corner, and she will see you if you don't shoot her quickly enough. So, okay, this is just one of the rooms where... Yeah, yeah, I see ya. They all say the same thing, and it all goes at the same crawling text speed. Yeah, yeah, they're sure to be Gerudo guards, we know. And so we have our... This is technically our second fight, and this one is going to be a success, right? Let's hope. Okay, this is going easier than I thought it would. Whoa, oh, that was kind of close. Yeah, if you uh, if you didn't see last episode, or if you don't know, when they do the jump attack and it connects to you, it knocks you down and they capture you basically immediately. But that's over. Small key fell out of her pants pocket, I guess. You know, they'd really think they should hold on to that or have a ring around their wrist or something. Ichiro the Carpenter, huh? Not related at all to Ichiro Suzuki, the Marlins outfielder. I don't think. Three of my fellows. Somehow they all know exactly how many of them are left. While they're still in the prison. How did he know that there were three left? It really... Like, for all he knows, I could have freed the other three already. And it looks like this is a one-way entrance and a one-way exit, so... Like I said, the Gerudo guards typically come back to consciousness. They... they do, don't they? Or... that's weird, I guess they don't. Or maybe that one didn't. I'm pretty sure the ones outside do. So again, it's all about being careful around these parts. Uh, while you're up here, they don't see you, blessedly. You can just romp around wherever you want. Oh, and there's already another room. Man, we're finding these pretty quick alike, aren't we? Phew, thanks for the rupees. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, just so I remember which way I came out. Uh, see the, uh, the skulls over top. The cattle head, I guess they would be. You see them in deserts a lot, and it fits because we are in a desert. Spoilers, they don't repay the favor. At least not that I remember. <laughs> Woo! Watch out, they say. Oh. Yeah, sometimes I like to get cheap shots in like that. This is made infinitely harder by, the, by not having a shield, by the way. Because you can block the regular attacks, and I think you can even block that with a shield. Obviously, I don't know if a wooden shield would... Oh, come on. Oh, uh, that one came relatively close. <laughs> and... There we go. thought that was the last hit. I don't know exactly how many hits they take. Again, the uh, jump attacks count for two, and a regular strike obviously counts for just one. Right, what do you say? I'm a cute kid? Man, you're... kinda creepy. I was about to say kinda gay, but that that's mean to say. Whether he is or not, I don't really care. Jiro was his name, if you didn't see. Not that it really matters. They all have oddly Asian names. Ugh, still, that felt creepy. It's a cute kid. I think I came in. All right, I, I left the. I came in the other way, so we'll see what's out this way. Oh God! Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't get caught immediately when I went out there. I haven't done this in a while. Or have I? I don't even remember. Not that it really matters, per se, but... Yeah, I still maintain that this is the best music in the game. Maybe in the entire Zelda uh, video game franchise. And that's putting a lot of good music out there. Wow, I found this other one already, and I know where the last one is, so... This has been easy cheesy, and you have an afro for some reason. But no, this... the... the Gerudo Fortress music is the best in the Zelda franchise, I think. Take three! After this, I really gotta find a, another heart container. Oh. Yeah, especially if I keep it up like this. Come on, just go down easily. Oh, 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 it's a joke. Except it's totally not. If I had a dollar for every time I've heard an LP or say something in a during a gameplay where all of a sudden, immediately after it, they say, ha ha ha, it was a joke. We'd all have a lot of money for seeing those, because I've seen a lot of people do that. Because on the internet, and in real life, really, anything can be turned into a sexual phrase. So, just get this third guy. Are you creepy and you're gonna hit on me? Boy, Saburu is a interesting. Or I had two O's and one O on the end, so Saburo maybe. I don't know. You'd think it's the it's the American port of the game. You'd think they'd have names like Jim or Ted. Okay, there's a heart. Thank you. And can I get another one? No, don't climb on the box. No, not more rupees. See, jars know where it's at. Jars give you hearts, and they are nice for that. Uh, again, if 
Oh dear. What is with this this hideout always leading me to where the Gerudo are? I mean, I guess that's a good security measure, and that'd kind of be the point, but still. Now, if you were paying attention the last video, you know where the last uh, guy is. The one Gerudo guard who... I'm just going to get rid of her. I think that's... yeah. Uh, the first door we came in last video was... The first guard that we ran into. So, I guess we just have to talk to the... Oh my god! Okay, they just get right down to the fight if you come back. After failing a first time. I guess that makes sense, but... Actually, it makes entire sense, so never mind. Okay, I'm gonna get my revenge on you this time, dumb bitch. Come on. I wish I had a, s a shield of two swords. I just realized, they have two swords and they only ever use one. Except when they're doing the jump attack like... Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, I like that. Well, thankfully, it's uh, the easiest one to get to from here because... We just do a hop, skip, and a jump. And, of course, we overshot... Okay, I need to get hearts. Um, I'd like the beeping sound to go away as quickly as possible. Can we possibly just walk over here so I can... Jeez, it sounds gruesome the way I just drop them like that. It's like... Ugh! As if they're... I mean, it's... There's, there's not going to be anything in there. Wait. Oh. Okay, so I guess there really is, uh, they really don't come back to consciousness, at least not for a great long while, so... God, thanks for the rupees, which I... Come on. Magic? Really? I don't use the Lens of Truth in here, and I don't have any of the arrows, nor do I use Din's Fire. That'd be interesting to try to see if Din's Fire would work on the Gerudo guards. I somehow doubt it, but it could be worth a shot. And of course the 50 ruby piece is gone. <sighs> Guess we'll just rummage around for a little bit. Okay, how many times has that happened? Seriously. Where I've tried to grab onto the ledge, and then it just drops me for no apparent reason. Oh, yeah. Is it when you leave the room that they come back to consciousness? Yes, indeed! Oh, and thanks for stabbing me and doing no damage. Do do, do do, do do, do do, do do. You know that noise is really entrancing after a while. Don't die. Okay. I will find hearts, even if I have to kill all these guards. And I don't. Think, hopefully, they won't come back to consciousness. Is I guess it must be inside and out. I haven't been in this one yet. Is this one of the rooms? I no shit no. I only have one heart! Have mercy! I'll just... Just don't kill me, please! Ugh. Can you just... Okay, I gotta be really cautious here. Keep my distance. I like that I scuttle around like a crab. No! Go away! I looked like I didn't even connect there. The hitbox is weird, I guess. Okay. No. Stop! Go away! Can I... Oh, I guess I can hit him with arrows. Ha! Huh. Yay for being cheap. Okay. Give me hearts. Okay. Thank God. I don't have to put up with that incessant beeping anymore. 
He's doing some manner of stylish jig. Yeah, I wouldn't have minded forgetting about you. You're kind of pathetic. All four of the carpenters are pathetic. They came to join the Gerudo, and then they end up being pussies and saying, Oh, the Gerudos are so rude. Bye! He is totally not homosex. Oh yeah, let me tell you, I'm a real good thief. I'm definitely not a heroic character at all, that's for sure. The Exalted Naburu. Every time I think of Naburu now, I think of that one webcomic where it was like... Oh god, I saw it years ago. Where they were... Uh, basically they were saying how Link was following... This is not important. It's a Gerudo's membership card. We use it for one thing, and we're not even going to do that. Um, it's getting the ice arrows, by the way. So, anyway. This webcomic was saying how Link follows uh, Ganondorf around. Because he go do goes and says he's not going to be a villain anymore, and he does a bunch of suspicious things, but then ends up really not being a bad guy anymore. And it causes Link to be real suspicious anyway, so he follows him, and they go, and he goes to a sleepover with Zelda, like Malin, and uh, Anju, I think. <laughs> and they're all sitting there talking about crushes they have, and they're all like talking about experiences with Link. And Zelda's like, "Hey, Ganondorf, did you ever have a crush on somebody?" And he's like, "Naburu and I used to be an item before she went all treacherous." <laughs> it was really funny. Ganondorf had a sleepover with the female characters of Legend of Zelda. And then they start doing the funky chicken dance. Eyes that can see the truth. Yeah, we need the lens of truth to cross the, uh, the desert. That seems like it'd be implied to me, though, personally. At least it does halfway through. Until then, we use just the uh, hook shot, basically. What do I mean by that? Well, you'll see in a brief shining moment. I'll equip the lens first, just so we'll have it for later. Yep, these poles, tall wooden poles, are going to play an important role in our crossing of the desert. Oh god, no, 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 no! Yeah, I didn't mean to get to the quicksand, Link. <sighs> Gotta save, because if that happens again, if you go anywhere outside where you have to, like, all of a sudden restart, it makes you lose an entire heart. It's not just the quicksand. So... Can I get a heart, please? Reminds me of when I started playing Super Star Wars again yesterday. Which, I don't know if I'm just bad at the game or what, but I never beat it, because it's fucking hard. Like, you die, at least it seems to me, so easily in that game. And if you don't have anything better than the uh, Plasma Blaster, you're sunk. By the way, Carpet Merchant. He has precisely one item, and we can't afford it because it's 200 rupees. So, whatever, man. But yeah, Super Star Wars. I don't know if it's a, a, people consider it a good game or not. I always enjoyed it, but I always sucked at it, too. I, to this day, I still haven't beaten it on console. Wait, where's the flag? I thought I saw it. Okay, wait. Is it? Yeah, I think I see it. Or is that a... <sighs> yeah, this is getting to be kind of scary. I don't know if I saw... Okay, this is the right one. Now, it's like there is... No. I'm just gonna keep going here. What?! I thought I saw it over there. Ugh, guess not. 
Well, that's a lackluster way to die, and a perfect stopping point, I suppose. So next time, we will cross through the desert with relative ease.